Okay, it's time to solve another practice problem. Uh, so let's just look at what we have here. I This is a common problem, but I wrote this one. But you'll find a lot like this. A long straight wire has an electric current in it. Got that. The wire is horizontal and three centimeters above a magnetic compass. I should get a compass, but so here's my wire. And then here's my compass down here. Okay. And then this distance is three centimeters. The magnitude of the Earth's magnetic field is two times 10 to the negative fifth. So B Earth. And this is actually the horizontal component. And this is the magnitude times 10 to the negative fifth Tesla. Uh, so how much current must be in the wire for the compass deflection of 40 degrees? So let's, and the and which direction should the, run, the wire run? So let's start with the compass. Here is my magnetic compass. And it's pointing north. Like that. If I want the compass to point this, so this is north. And so just as a quick note, the Earth's magnetic field is not parallel to the surface of the Earth. It actually changes depending on your location on the Earth. Uh, it has a, a large vertical component too, but compasses are weighted such that they work uh, with the, the kind of balance out that vertical component so that the net result is the needle points in the direction of the magnetic field. Okay, so what if I want the needle to do this? That's north, and I want the needle to be pointing this way, and that angle is 40 degrees. That's the question. So how do I get that to happen? Well, I know that I that the magnetic field uh, is, it obeys the superposition principle. So that means I have two magnetic fields here. I have the magnetic field due to the Earth, I'll put it right here. I know this, B Earth, in the north direction. And then I want B wire, the magnetic field due to the wire like that, perpendicular to it, such that this angle is 40 degrees. So if I know the value of BE, I know this component right here, then I could say the tangent of 40 equals adjacent, opposite over adjacent, so it's the magnitude of the wire divided by the magnitude of the Earth's magnetic field, and that should be true. And then I can find the magnitude of the wire's magnetic field. And then I know the distance, I can use that. Okay, so that's the first thing. What's And, and the, the second thing is, what's the direction of the magnetic, of the wire? Okay, so here's, I'm gonna use this as my wire. And that's north. Okay, so the magnetic field due to a wire, I remember I had a little, I had a little wire thing that I built, I can't remember, it's in one of my videos, but, uh, so the magnetic field due to a wire, if I have a current going this way, the magnetic field due to a long wire makes uh, circular vectors going around this way. So if you put your thumb of your right hand in the direction of the current, your fingers point in the direction of the magnetic field. Um, so. I didn't say for the wire to deflect 40 degrees which way, okay? So if I want the comp if I have the compass like this and the wire like this, the magnetic field underneath the wire is going to be pointing that way. So the compass would deflect this way. Now, if I run the current this way, then the magnetic field on due to the wire would be pointing that way. So for my situation, I'm going to have a north-south wire and I'm gonna have the current running south. Now, let's just take another example. What if I have the wire like this? Now I have current going this way. Actually, let's have current going this way. Then my magnetic field is gonna be in the same direction as the Earth's magnetic field, and there'll be no deflection, okay? And this way would just be kind of weird. So I definitely want the wire to be going north-south. Okay, let's do the first part and calculate the magnitude of this magnetic field due to the wire. So this is just going to be B wire is B earth times a tangent of 40. And if I use my calculator, okay, so I'm going to say the earth's magnetic field is 2 times 10 to the negative fifth. Enter. And then I'm, I'm going to take the tangent of 40, so 40 tangent, and multiply those two together. And I get 1.68 times 10 to the negative fifth Tesla. So now, how do I find the current in the wire? So here, actually, I've wrote this down beforehand. 
Okay, this is the, you have to be very careful. I, this is the algebra-based physics course. Um, that's, should be like that. You can't derive the uh, magnetic field due to a wire. Okay, there is a way you can do it with Ampere's law, but it's, it's kind of just magic, and I, I don't think that we're really at that level. Um, if you really want to do it, you need calculus. So if, with that being said, there's a lot of formulas for magnetic field, and you need to be familiar with which ones go with which thing. Okay, so this is the magnetic field due to a long straight wire. So mu naught is the magnetic constant, 4 pi times 10 to the negative seventh. I is the current, 2 is the number 2, and pi is the number pi. And then R is the distance from the wire. So here's a little reminder, if the current's coming out of the paper like this, you'd put your thumb in the direction of the electric current, and your fingers would show the direction of the magnetic field. Okay. So we already know the direction and all that, but we just want the magnitude. So I know the magnitude of the wire, and I know the distance I want to solve for I. Okay, so let's do that. Let me scoot this up. Okay, so I know this B wire is mu naught I over 2 pi R. And I just want to solve for, that was right, the current? Yeah, the current. So I'm just going to solve this for the current. Uh, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 pi r, and I get 2 pi r times b wire, all of that divided by mu naught. And, and um, you know, we can do this little thing where I multiply the top and the bottom by 2, and this gives me 4 pi. Uh, and so now when I put things in there, I get this. I have 4 pi. Then I have R, which is going to be 0.03. It was 3 centimeters, so i got to convert that to meters. And I'm leaving off the units for, for uh, saving space. 1.68 times 10 to the negative fifth. That is the magnetic field. And then I'm going to divide by uh, 2 times mu naught, which is 4 pi times 10 to the negative seventh. Okay, so you see what I did there. The 4 pi's cancel. So I get 2 times 10 to the negative seventh. Okay, let's put this in the calculator. That's the name of my calculator, calculator torta. I made that up. Okay, so I'm going to get 0.03. Enter this 1.68 times 10 to the negative 5 times. Now I need to divide by 2. Here's where you need, really need to be uh, careful with your order of operations, okay? If you're going to enter scientific notation the long way, be careful don't divide by 2 and then... Uh, multiply by this because that would actually be dividing by that. I'm going to enter this as 2 times 10 to the negative 7. So 2, 7 negative divided by. And I get 2.52 amps. And that's the answer. Cool, cool. All right.